instead of searching for that one who is all encompassing and losing your whole life in that search learn to experience that one in everything that you are able to already perceive all of a sudden vishwaroop has a very very different manifestation to how you see life After 10 chapters when Arjuna closes his eyes in the 11th chapter and experiences the Vishwaroop It's not that Arjuna is saying to Krishna I saw all the forms in you that's not what he is saying as we have a very cinematic expression of the vishwaroop i saw all the forms in you that's exactly not what arjuna went through arjuna is saying he is not saying krishna i am seeing all the forms in you arjuna is actually saying whichever form i see i see you in it it's not all the forms are in you krishna is vishwaroop is you are there in all the forms which is so scientific the formless presence is present in all the form kaake cheraginile nandalala nindan kariya niram thonrudaya nandalala even when i see the black feathers of a crow krishna i am able to see you in it samo i feel a crow is a very localized view so i feel maybe it's an optical illusion so i decide to look around and look at all the greenery which is encompassing as we would say in sanskrit a crow can only be atra tatra anyatra a crow cannot be sarvatra it cannot be everywhere so i look at greenery which is everywhere and i realize in all the green that i see i see only you krishna parkum marangalil ellam nindan pachai niram thonrudaya nandalala then arjuna says i think my eyes are cheating me i'm borrowing the words of bardeer kaake cheraginile nandalala he feels my eyes are cheating me So he decides to check his ears. Kekum vodi lella nindan gida misaiku da ya nanda lala. Okay, I think now I will listen to different sounds, but in all the sound I hear, I hear only your music, Krishna. So can't be every sense of mine cannot be betraying me. So let me try touch most authentic. and let me not touch something that is pleasant let me touch something that is unpleasant let me put my finger through fire thikul viralai vittal ninnai theendiya inbam thondradaya nandalala even when i touch something unpleasant even in that the pleasant thing is i still experience only you krishna so essentially vishwaroop is not i saw all the forms in you but vishwaroop is whatever i see whatever i perceive in everything i perceive only you so if in whatever i am trying to see in whatever i am able to hear and whatever i am able to smell and whatever i am able to taste and whatever i am able to touch if everything somewhere if i am able to experience you then you are omnipresent which is what vishwaroop is you are present in every form krishna so which means there is no point in me being deluded in seeing the form in front of me this is one of the manifestation of you but you are there in everything so instead of searching for that one who is all encompassing and losing your whole life in that search learn to experience that one in everything that you are able to already perceive 
and suddenly you don't have a father and mother at home you have the divine as father and mother at home and an opportunity to take care of them suddenly it's not a husband or a wife but it is the divine as your spouse an opportunity for you to love Gita Krishna Raj in one of her poetry would say God why did you come as my parents and God would reply to take care of you and to tell you I love you God then why did you come as my children so that you can take care of me <laughs> and to show you I love you then why did you come as my teacher to show you you need me and to tell you i love you then why did you make me a seeker to show you i also need you <laughs> and to show you i love you suddenly it's not the plants it's not the trees it's not a dog it's not a fish it's not a father it's not a child suddenly you realized literally i will show my love to the creator by caring for all the creation in all the possible ways because the creator is present in every creation all of a sudden vishwarupa has a very very different manifestation to how you see life just one paradigm shift from i saw all in one to that one permeates in all the reverence with which you begin to live your life from then on is so different preserve your innocence spiritually to learn to see that one in all you have a very very different reverence to life